Hello, this is Amy with Mom and Me Scrapping. I have a picture of my daughter taken many years ago. I don't have the exact date, but I'm going to look it up. She's splashing at her water table, and I thought this would be a great layout to use a summer kit that I got from the Secret Not Secret Book Club. This in particular is what made me want to pull this particular kit. Um, hot summer day. The There's a doily in the kit, um, so I want to use that. I have pulled all of these for scrap papers to do some layering with. And then these are the two pieces of paper that I'm focusing on. This is gonna be my background paper. And then I'm going to actually turn this sideways and do kind of a large vertical piece. And then because it seems like everybody is using tissue paper lately, um, I thought I'd try it. I have this, it's got a plaid print to it, but I thought I'd use this maybe to add a little bit of texture and layers. So, um, Mixed media wise, I'm going to try the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse today in French Rose. And I have my Nouveau Jewel Drops in the Strawberry, I don't know how to say the second word that starts with C, and Sea Breeze. So I'm going to try both of those. Um, and what I think I'm going to do is use the Strawberry, not Strawberry, what is this? The French Rose and kind of go along the outside edges just to add a little color to bring all of that in. So to do that, I first need to trim this. And then I'm going to need to trim the stripes. All right, so the stripes are simple stories. Hello, Summer, this is the other side. Not really, this doesn't appeal to me. However, colorful stripes do. The other page. Uh, it's from Fancy Pants from Hello Sunshine. And I have also that came with this kit, I have some decorative brads and layered stickers from Echo Park Summer Fun Collection and the Hello Summer bits and pieces from Simple Stories, which is where these came from. Pulled out some Baker's Twine too. So, kind of, I like the yellow on top better. Let's go ahead, oh, I need to ink it first. little bent up thanks to my mail lady I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down ahead of time since I want it to have the pink edge as well again I'm using my hickory smoke distress ink I'm going to be wild and crazy. I've tested this out. I haven't done it on a big sheet of paper yet, but I finished tearing it off. I thought I would use my finger. All right, I'm back. I had a phone call. So as I was saying, I am going to use my finger to kind of rub on some on the edges, kind of almost giving it a distress look, but I want it to be very soft. looking for a huge amount of color, just enough to add a touch. Yes? No. I'm just gonna keep rubbing. it getting drier which kind of surprises me that I'd be able to feel it that easily as I rub this on. I'm not 
some more over here. There we go. All right. So that's on. And this should dry pretty quickly. Okay. Yeah, that's already dry. Okay, so I've got that and it blends a little bit, blends in a little bit with my mat, but there it is. You can see it a little better like that. So I do like how that looks. It's it's subtle, but it adds a little bit of dimension to it. All right, let's see. Now I want to I'm gonna pull this stuff, put that over here. Now I want to start putting adding my photo. So again, we're gonna play with layers. Almost do, no, I couldn't do that. I don't like that one. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then because it's got the, I think that's black, it looks black to me, black dots, I thought I could add in this. And then, this pink layer. And I have this to add in, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. All right, I like that. And then, all of that on the paper. I think I like that. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I have my plan. So step one is going to be to trim this. Let's see, we're gonna go there. Okay. Very old paper, very thin. I used it for a project in my classroom, actually. I made those teacher drawers. The drawers are all rainbow colored. That was my green. There we go. All right, now this is going to go around the entire thing. that. Oh, I want to trim more off.
Okay. Yeah, let's not put it on the front of the picture. There we go. And just to make it a little easier for me to work with. off. All right, I'm going to go ahead and lay on, right on the matted side, on the shiny side. Make the matte side. Okay. Here we are. Right here. My big metal ruler, there it is. Let's see if I can tear it better on this side. A little bit. And that I'm not really gonna worry about. Okay. Throw away all these little bits. Put my ruler back. And there we go. Oh, I forgot I was going to put this on. Don't want to forget the doily. Let's add a little more adhesive. Want the doily over further. Yeah, I like it better like that. Okay. Now, I'm just tucking in some layers. I thought the little flamingo was cute. And then I liked. little balls. Put that there. Put that down there. There we go. I kind of like it like that. I am going to ink these things just because there's so much white on white on white. I want it to stand out just a little bit more. Okay, before I do anything else, I want to add in this. All right. Wasn't quite sure what color I wanted to go with. That's why I pulled off three. are 
down here. splash zone which actually splash zone for me is what the title of the layout's going to be trap space there we go all right now I have these layered stickers which I have another flamingo so I definitely don't want to use that and actually I don't think I'm gonna use any of these they all have words on them and I'm not really feeling doing any words I would like to put some of these breads on add a little bit of something really really don't like when they do stuff like that it's got chipboard too I just realized that's what that was all right so I decided I would get this one this one and then the sunglasses all right the sunglasses are gonna go down there they're pink the yellow can go up there, and the floral, maybe the yellow could go here. Yeah, I like the yellow better there. All right, um, where did I put my tool? That is not the tool I meant to grab. I meant to grab this tool. I always said I didn't need this tool. Oh my gosh, it makes setting brads an absolute breeze. Broken fingernails. Isn't this a pretty other side? I debated on which side to use. On this one, I want to make sure I get that in there straight. There we go. A little bit of dimension and the question is do I want to add any of these other ones in there either the pearl or the sparkles and I don't think I do because I want to add like the pink blue and yellow and this yellow is not the right shade and that's not the right shade of pink and I don't want to do black so I am done with those. I'll set that aside. And now I'm going to go in and add more of my drops. All right, and I'm gonna be wild and crazy and, oh, and squirt stuff over there and attempt to fill in these splashes. knock into any that's already on there and then I already have one on there and I did I just put my hand in that one oops don't redo it I always do that at some point
There we go. And I am going to call this page done. So mixed media, I used my French Rose Embellishment Mousse, the Morning Dew Nouveau Crystal Drops, and the Sea Breeze Nouveau Jewel Drops. And I think that's it. Have a great day. Bye.